What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to create a PHP file that will allow you to add users to the HWRD database that we went over last time. So let's get started. We're going to create an add user .php in our hosting and now we can start with the coding for it. Okay, so let's start with our PHP tag, just like before. And now we're going to get into it. So we're going to have two different arguments in this URL. So if, and then get login. So here we're going to have a password in order to actually actually create equals blank. So if there's no login, return. And then if no HWID equals nothing, return. So now in our argument, if they don't input an HWID to be whitelisted, or if they don't input a password, it will return. So now that we have that, we're going to set our password that we want them to put in every single time they use the URL. So if get login, and this actually needs to be in brackets or parentheses. So if get login is not equal, and you put whatever password you want, I'll just use password for now. Return. So now if the input is not your password, it will return. Okay, so now we we'll do the same thing we did last time. If file exists, and then you want to do the link to the data file, which is just storage and then data.json. So so if there's a file there, then we'll continue the next function. And then we're going to define the data again. So current data equals file. And we're going to get the contents of that JSON. So file that underscore get contents. And then again, storage slash data dot JSON. And actually, I forgot, you're going to have to have a semicolon at the end of every single line in PHP. So then we're going to define the array inside of the um, JSON data. So Array data equals JSON decode current data. So it will decode the JSON here from the current data that it's already got the contents of. And then true, I'm going to put a semicolon. Okay, so now we're going to actually get the arguments and define it as just a basic thing. So extra equals get. You don't have to do this, but it makes it easier to use a shorter variable. And then we're going to encode that because remember, as I said in the previous episode, we're going to push all the data encoded with SHA256. So encoded equals hash SHA256, comma, extra. So now whatever their HWID is that we insert, it will be automatically hashed before it's used in the database. And then we're going to define the array inside of it. So array data. This is going to actually be writing to it equals encoded. So now it will push that to the array data. So the array inside of the JSON, it will be pushing the hash data. And then in order to actually write that, it will be final data equals JSON encode. And then array data again. And then we're going to, in order to have it send every single HWID to a new line, we're just going to define that as JSON pretty print. And this won't really do much. It just looks better whenever you're actually looking through the JSON file. And now we're going to do if file put contents. So if it successfully puts the contents in there, then storage dash data.json. And then comma. We're going to put the final data in. Data. And then we're going to execute the function here. Echo success. Okay, so now we're going to go through and make sure that we have semicolons in everything. We forgot one here, so put that in. We're going to copy all of our code, put it into our website, save that. And now we're going to um, test it with the link. I'm just going to type it out here first. It's going to be charge dev.xyz slash tutorial slash add user dot php password or login equals password 
and h to the id equals x. So now if we go and we actually try this on our website, let's say that h to the id equals 2. And we enter that, it will say success. If we go to our data.json, there we go, it's inputted. So now if we go to our old tutorial page, which was index.php, index.php, x.id equals 2. There we go, it's a success. If we put in 4, and it's a failure. But if we paste in this, we added a study ID of 4. It will add that. And now if we go back to our page, index PHP, is to ID equals 4. There we go, it's successful. So there we go guys, a very simple example of how to add H to the IDs to your data set so you can actually check them and see if they exist for a very good verification system. Now if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down what you would like to see next. I plan on uploading in two days or so a video on how to integrate this system into a Discord bot so it can actually be used for the purpose of verification. And make sure to join our Discord if you have any questions, and thank you.